and thanks for joining me today. Today I am doing a video with one card and that is this cute little card with these little chicks on it. Um, the stamp I'm using is a Trinity uh, Stamps stamp and it's called Seasons Tweetings. Uh, this is my first um, stamp by this company and it is so adorable. Um, I am also going to be watercoloring with some Catherine Pooler inks. And um, I bought this palette book from uh, Michael's probably about a month and a half or two months ago. And I haven't used it yet and I thought I'd go ahead and grab it and take it out. It's basically like wax paper. Um, it's just called pa uh, palette paper by Strathmore. You get 40 sheets in this and it's a 9x12. I believe I bought it from Michaels when they were probably having like a buy one get one 50% off. Um, I usually usually use plastic but um, this is a great alternative. But if you have some of the wax paper also it's basically the same. It's shiny on one side and like a matte on the other. I am using Bristol smooth cardstock which is the cardstock that is my favorite i use it for most things and i'm going to be doing some no line water coloring so i am using this distress ink in antique linen and i'm just going to go ahead and stamp that up onto my card panel using my we are memory keepers precision press advanced the first two colors i'm using are all that jazz and fiesta blue by katherine pooler um, i left the coloring in this video it's sped up quite a bit but um, I, I'm not really a, I like watercoloring, but I don't think it's really my place to teach how to watercolor just because I'm still learning and a lot of times I don't know what I'm doing. I just kind of do what I think looks best. Um, so I have left the coloring in just so that you can see how it basically so for this first one, I, I wet it down first. Um, I was hoping that, that the color wouldn't spread to the other areas of the image. Um, so that's why I wet it down first, but for the other images or the other little chicks in this image, I don't wet it down. I just go ahead and put it straight onto the cardstock. Um, so basically all I'm doing is I'm taking the lighter color, which is the Fiesta Blue, and going around with my brush, and I believe this is a one in size, and um, trying to toward the edges. And then I take the all that jazz color and I'm just outlining it and then trying to blend it in a little bit. Um, and that's basically what I do with all of the images, uh, with the birds and with the other. Um, this probably wasn't the smartest image to try and watercolor because especially around the feet area of the birds, um, it was kind of difficult to get the um, area watercolored without looking splotchy, um, but that's just my inexperience in this. I love watercoloring. It's my favorite um, medium to work with, whether it's actual watercolors or inks, um, and I love that for a lot of inks you can take them and watercolor with them. Um, so this took probably about 30 minutes or more to do. Um, I did it quite slowly. Um, so here I'm just again outlining the where the shadows would be um, and trying to blend that out a little bit. The two brush sizes that I use for this video are a one and a zero or a zero zero. I think it's just a zero. Um, so when I outline it, I just try and make sure that the tip of the brush is more of a point rather than splayed out. Um, and with the one size, it works well for most of what I am coloring here. Um, and for some of the image, I mean, this does not need a lot of water at all. I am just lightly dipping and I have a towel off the side that I'll, I'll um, set my brush on to get a little bit of that water out, but um, not a lot of water is used. Um, you can spray the ink and make it react that way on the palette paper to get it wet, but for this card, I preferred to um, just dip my brush into the dry ink after I had wet it with my water. Um, that worked better for me. I think it gave me a lot more control of how much color I put on the image. Um, but if you would like to skip coloring, I'll go ahead and throw that up on the screen or you can fast forward to 
the point where I am basically assembling the card. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and play a little bit of Christmas music. Um, you can go ahead and skip forward to towards the end if you're interested in that or if you want to see the speedy coloring, um, go ahead and stay here and I'll catch you back in a little bit. too soon for Christmas music, right? I hope not. Um, so I finished up the coloring and I'm going to go ahead and take my white signal ball pen and my black jelly roll pen and add some details to the image. So I'm just taking the black pen and going over the eyes. And then I tried to take my white uh, signal ball pen and make some highlights, but um, unfortunately that pen is kind of getting low and so it's not marking really great. So 
hopefully it doesn't look too horribly bad. Um, I took a die from my stash from Creative Expressions, and as always, I will go ahead and leave links to the products below. Um, and I cut that out using a piece of paper from my stash and adhere that with the Red Top Fine Line glue, which I absolutely love. Um, and then I took two of the sentiments from the stamp set. Um, the first one I went ahead and I curved it around on my stamping block so that it curves somewhat on the card, although it's not perfectly curved, I think. Hopefully, hopefully it's okay. Um, and then there are several little snowflakes in the stamp set. Uh, one's a bigger one, and then there's two smaller ones. And so I just randomly put those, all three of those around the card. Um, and again, I'm using the Catherine Pooler Fiesta Blue color which is the same color as the birds. And then I'm using my Nouveau glitter pen to just mark the centers of the snowflakes to give it a little bit of shine. And then for the second sentiment, I used a My Favorite Things, um, a tag die from my stash and stamped up in Versifying Black Seasons Tweetings. And that will complete this card. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely love this stamp set, it's so adorable. If you liked this video or found it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. As always, supply lists are in the description um, below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will catch you next time.